Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and another batch of WA2K20 news. As thanks to some new job listings posted on the 2K website, then we now have some indication of what 2K are working on for WA2K20. Before we get into that though, I want to say a big thank you to WrestleCrate UK for sponsoring this video, as WrestleCrate are the original monthly wrestling subscription service offering a selection of wrestling merch including figures, t-shirts, autographs and a whole lot more. This month's past crate featured a Money in the Bank styled mobile charger, a Jordan Grace signed print, Chaos Wrestling Don't Be a Menace 2019 on DVD, Issue 8 of Wrestle Talk Magazine, a Tyler Bate lapel pin, one month's access to High Spots Network, an exclusive Travis Banks vinyl figure, and my favourite item of the month, this really cool Flip Gordon t-shirt. Now looking ahead to next month's box, we have a unique vinyl figure of Impact Wrestling star Jimmy Havoc, therefore if you want to pick one up, you can head over to WrestleCrate.co.uk and use the voucher code SMACKTALKS to save 10% off your first order. Now with that out of the way, let's talk 2K20, as 2K Sports are currently listing 5 jobs on the company website, of which the descriptions for each reveal some of the things that they're working on. Now the first two jobs listed on the website are temporary positions for cloth specialists, with the responsibilities for the role noting that the applicant will be responsible for cloth and hair simulation setup, as well as troubleshooting for a diverse range of outfits and hairstyles, and contributing to the evolution of the art pipeline by developing diverse technical solutions. So the fact that 2K are looking to hire two people for this position indicates that cloth and hair simulation is something that they're working on this year, which is something that is badly needed, as not only do we have the same complaints that we have for years in regards to how the hair looks, but the way that the hair was coded in 2K19 led to so many problems in the creation suite, as using certain longer hairstyles meant that you couldn't wear certain items of clothing, like jackets, as the hair would clash with it, therefore the game would throw up this error message to stop you using them, severely limiting the choice of options that you had to choose from. As for cloth, these two had a similar problem, as using a long sleeve top or a jacket also meant that you couldn't use certain gloves, which again just seems to be ridiculous. So at least now we know that 2K are hiring people to work on these elements, which should hopefully mean we'll see an improvement in 2K20, hopefully removing a lot of these restrictions. Moving on to the next opening on the website, and we have 2K looking for an environment artist for the WWE team, with this job offering up the chance to create and develop high quality environments such as arenas or backstage areas, however there's no indication of just what those areas will be. Interestingly though, and perhaps connected, the next job based at the same office sees 2K looking for a junior UI artist for WWE, however it's more the introduction to this job that proves intriguing rather than the roles, as the introduction notes NBA 2K's switch to an open world setting in my career mode, with 2K touting the praise that I received for the move and how it redefined the genre, potentially indicating that 2K could be looking to go in a similar direction with WWE and place my career in a similar open world setting, which would definitely be interesting and kind of build on what we've seen in the past, in the likes of Road to WrestleMania and the early My Career modes, where you could freely walk around the environment and talk to the people backstage. Switching over to the final job listing for WWE, which is for a software engineer and also based at the same office, then this listing also notes the same text about NBA 2K's open world setting and the praise that it received, which again could be an indication of the plan for WWE, or it could just be a way of selling visual concepts to the applicant by showing them the praise that they've received on other projects. So whilst that may be unclear, at least we now know that 2K will be working on cloth and hair mechanics in 2K20, which is great to know and something that is much needed, but just how those changes turn out is something that we'll have to wait and see. Anyway guys, that does it for this latest batch of news, but make sure to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to stay up to date, as well as let me know your thoughts on today's news in the comments. Until next time, I've been Paul from Smack Talks, have yourself an awesome day, and I'll catch you later.